at first I was like, noun, noun moms, that's kind of, I don't know, kind of boring. Being a mom has been the loneliest I've ever been. So we got divorced when he was about 18 months. Nothing helped me through it more than moms coming to me and telling me like, I lost a baby too. <laughs> We're doing a podcast. It's called mm -hmm. Noun. The Noun Moms. I love it. Noun. So to start, what are your nouns this week? What are your people, places, and things that have helped you in motherhood this week? My people are my kids. Mm. I love my kids. That's cute. I love my kids because they're all over the country doing amazing things. So you're down south. I have kids back east why we have them all over so yeah. it's fun so that's your people this week that helped you yep nice what about a place places um anything cool that you've experienced well i love to um go biking mm -hmm. so um i went biking this week um up the canyon which is so beautiful yeah like it's amazing I need to try to do that more because, well, when it cools down because it's freaking hot in the desert right now. Yeah. But biking is fun. I love that you have your little mom group. It's called the Biking Babes. The Biking Babes. <laughs> we go. All, they go every Tuesday, and I can't go all the time. But we're going on a trip um, for the whole day to this really fun little Ooh. city. Fun. Okay, so your place is the mountains to escape, kind of have mom mm -hmm. time here at Empty Nester, so you can do whatever you want now. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Okay, what about, so we said people, places, thing. What's a thing? So this week I've been cleaning out, I have one bedroom that has... All of our crap. <laughs> all of, I have all of your stuff, all of your brother's stuff. And it's so funny because you guys are making me go through and get rid of stuff. But then when I call and say, hey, do you need this poster that you tried out and for student, student counselor <laughs> in sixth grade? They say, yeah, keep them. I'm like, what? Yeah. But anyway. I said to throw everything away. But you should look through it first. I, know. I will yeah. eventually. Okay, so you just have been loving old things. Yeah, and just looking at all of the stuff, like growing up, all of my kids growing up, and all of their cute nice. stuff. My nouns for the week, my people are my coworkers, because this past week was the first week I went back to work after my miscarriage, and they've all just been so supportive and, like, patient and sensitive about it all and so yeah I think I'm just really grateful to have people like them and that's awesome they gave me a week off when everything was going on but yeah so my people this week were my co-workers the place I love the library I took granny there this week and they apparently all libraries do this they have like singing time for little kids yeah. and she loved it when I was holding her, if like I was like, go play, she was a little scared to do it by herself, but it was so cute. And they read like three or four stories and they sing all these songs. And yeah, so if you've never taken your kid to your public library, you should do that because they have really cute it story was times. so fun. And they also have like craft times and stuff. You should, yeah, we did a craft, <gasps> we did a craft so at cute. the end. She made a strawberry and we've done ice cream yeah so that's my place and i'm grateful that they have that and it's free you just go and did you know it's free to have a library card yeah yes i, did I know didn't that. know that you can just sign up and they'll give you a card and you can check out books so they have like a little section of like seasonal books oh that's cute and so they had like um because now it's like getting halloween time so they have all the mm. halloween books and I'm like, this is great. So we just check them out and bring them home and take them back next week and go to story time and singing time. and Yeah, so that's my place. That is like saving grace for moms. And then the thing that I love, have you ever had 
it's like the medicine upstairs for rainy it's called zarbies Mm-mm. i haven't it's like this natural, holistic, cold medicine for kids. It's oh, like wow. honey and herbs and like, I don't know. All the ingredients are like really good. And so Rainy's kind of had a cold and usually I take her to the doctor and get her antibiotics or something, but it hasn't been that bad. So I didn't take her in and cause usually I'll take her in, pay like 50 bucks for a copay and then they send me home with nothing. So my friend told me like, oh, check out Zarbies. And so I did and it's great and it seems to help her a lot so that's awesome is it just for kids yeah it's just for like one and two year olds so it's just for like little kids when a lot of medicine you can't give right that's true so i gave her that and they have like a vapor rub because you can't put vicks on little kids and so yeah that is my thing i've been loving zarby i hope i'm saying that right i'll like pop up a picture put it in the description for those who are listening so that's like the thing we're gonna do every podcast and we live four hours apart so some episodes my lovely mother is gonna be here with us yay and other episodes i'm gonna be interviewing my mom friends uh, about their journey and motherhood and stuff so it's gonna be so cool basically i had this idea to do this podcast forever ago and why i wanted to do it was because I didn't have mom friends when I first had Rainy, and it was, like, so hard. You don't realize, like, you kind of are isolated because you just, it's you and this baby, and that's it. So, I wanted to start this podcast so moms that were in my situation before I met all my mom friends and had this community, if people are in that situation like I was in, then it kind of gives them a support and a community. And I want to build a place where like moms can go for advice or moms can go for relating and things like that. And that's what I love about social media. And then I was going to do it with one of my friends, but then she ended up moving. And then I was like, who can I do this with? Like that is a great mom and has a lot of knowledge and (laughs) Then I was like, oh my gosh, I should do it with my mom. I know. I was so excited you asked me. But again, I don't listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff. So it's kind of a new little thing for me. Yeah, that's the nice thing about podcasts. We just talk. And yeah, I love that. You're a great mom. and You're a great mom. Oh, thanks. So we're just going to try our best. So we did a little photo shoot yesterday. Uh, I know. I hope they work out. They're going to turn out so good. They were cute. What did you think? How was it? Because by the time we post this, the pictures will be posted. Yeah. I loved it. And Morgan was so awesome. Shout out to Morgan. Yeah. She's so cute. Um, She did a great job. And it was fun. I'm not a real photo i i don't think i've ever done that before like You've a never real done a photo, photo shoot? shoot no unless They're it was with so our family fun. right yeah but that's true i think it's just because of work i've just done it yeah you have a you have a fun job i do i love my job so yeah no i think it'll be fun i really i really liked it we changed our clothes and we yeah. did different poses and so like I said, she lives four hours away from me. So I was like, we're going to do this photo shoot. So calm down and just bring clothes and we'll just see what outfits we can put together. And I think our outfits matched really good. Yeah, they were cute. For not really planning it out, yeah. I think it looked it good. It was good. I know. Dad kept saying, why are you taking all of these clothes? <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you're just here for now like two days. Now he's like, mm, yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it's going to look great. And... They're just so fun and colorful, and she did the photo back that's, like, bright yellow. And I think, above everything, I just want this podcast to be fun and bright and colorful, like, add joy to people's life. So I think the pictures are a good representation of it. And then I got the vintage phones from Amazon as props. They were cute. Because I don't think... A day goes by that we don't call each other. Mm-hmm. Or if it does, it's weird. It is weird if I don't talk to you. I know. That's how it was with my mom. Yeah. Every day. She'd usually call me three or four times a day, but right, like when she was getting ready to go to bed. Yeah. I love that. I know. And every time now I'm driving home from work, I'm like, oh, I have a 20 minute drive, so I'm just going to call my mom. It's the best. And if you don't answer, I'm like, oh, that's weird. Because usually you always answer. Yeah. Another reason why I want to do the phones and the photo shoot is because, one, you call your mom every day, but also you talk 
to your mom like you don't talk to anybody else like even dad I love him and we have a great relationship (laughs) but I feel like there's things that I tell you that I don't tell him like even in high school and growing up I'd always tell you about the boys that I thought were cute or the dates I would go on or the drama I had with friends or whatever like you just talk to your mom differently and so that's what I want this podcast to be is like I want it to be different yeah, I wanted to be fun and entertaining, but I also, like, through interviewing you and through interviewing my friends and their journey in motherhood and other people's yeah. journey, like, I want it to be a conversation like no other podcast where it's just, like, we get to talk openly and honestly about, like, struggles with motherhood or things that we've gone through that have made us better moms or, like, interviewing moms who have better knowledge about things than I do so that hopefully the moms who listen to this podcast can gain insight and so I love that I just want to talk I'm good at talking (laughs) we are and I I just love that you call me and I love it when you FaceTime with Rainy and it just makes my day I know it's just the best so I want to make other people's day that they can look forward to something every week and yeah, I just want to build a community for moms because it's like the best thing I've ever done is be a mom, but it's also the hardest thing. And at times being a mom has been the loneliest I've ever been. And so I want to be able to like have people who have been in my spot have a place and a community and it'll be so fun. Yeah, no, I'm it'll excited. Be really good. So I want to talk about the name because I came up with it literally just one night, and I really want to know your thoughts on it. Okay, well, at first I was like, noun, noun moms, that's kind of, I don't know, kind of boring, I thought at first, (laughs) but now I love it because um, we get to talk about people, places, and things, and so there's lots of places and lots of people and lots of things that we can talk about. So I love it. I think it's a great idea. Thanks. I know. I was curious because I feel like you didn't like it at first. But then I already had my sign made, so. (laughs) It's all about the sign. (laughs) No, I loved it. I loved it. You have to. You have to love it now. But, yeah. So this is how it came to be. I was rocking rainy at night and I was just thinking about this because I wanted to start a business for moms I'm really passionate about being a mom I'm especially passionate about being a working mom I love having a job and a career and so I want to talk about that and so I was thinking like hmm what can I do and there's a lot of women that I follow on social media who I look up to who have started businesses and one of them is Meg Livingston she like lived down the street from us and she has her earring company post and then she has her Kindle case company page and I just love how it's like one word and it just is like her aesthetic is so good her branding and colors and everything anyways so I was like oh my gosh what is like one word that I could do and I was gonna call it things because like we could talk about things before I even knew it was gonna be a podcast I was gonna do like Amazon affiliate marketing but I just I just didn't feel like I could reach as deep with that like yeah I would help moms find things that they like but I wanted to like really reach deeper so I was like okay well I don't want to just do things so what should I do and I'm like what like I want places for moms and things for moms and people I was like oh my gosh let's just call it noun which is great I mean I love it I love that we get to talk about so many different things yeah and it just encompasses all of motherhood because you're not just one thing when you're a mom. You're even if you aren't a working mom, like you don't get a paycheck or whatever. Oh, you're, you're working. Still working. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's harder to stay home. Oh yeah. And be a mom. Yeah. Well, be, be literally, a, yeah. Drake. He was off this summer. Didn't have school. Didn't have work. And yeah, every day he would be like, "I don't know how you do this. Like, I just want to go." home like I just want to get out of this house I've been inside (laughs) all day long I had the car at work so he couldn't leave and he's like I'm going crazy we go upstairs we go downstairs we go outside he's like she's so busy how do you keep up I'm like 
yeah, it's hard. It is She's hard. almost two. She's got a lot of energy. So yeah, I think regardless if you work or not, you are you do a lot. You're a chef. You are a healthcare provider because you take care of them when they get hurt. You have to know you're like a therapist. You got to work through tantrums. So being a mom is a lot. So that's what noun is. It's just a way to encompass it all. And it's just the people, places, things for moms. And I'm obsessed with it. So <laughs> that's good. I love it. I'm it's going it. to be fun. That's a little bit about what this podcast is and what we hope it is. And now I want to have you talk about who you are. And so our viewers know a little bit more about us. And I want to interview you like I'll interview my friends with like more in-depth conversations. And I want you to tell your motherhood story because you've been through a lot. You've been married, divorced, remarried. You have a blended family, yours, mine, and ours. Like you have a lot, but you do amazing. You've always been such a hard worker and entrepreneur and so... There's going to be so many more things to come from you, but just in a little glimpse, tell us who you are. In a little glimpse. Well, as far as a mom... um, Did you always want to be a mom? I always wanted to be a mom, and I thought I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And then that wasn't in my cards, you know, because when I had Jake, um, his dad, um, he just wasn't... We weren't on the same... Yeah, same page and so we got divorced when he was about 18 months and um I was a mom that worked yeah um but I had a great support system I had my mom my mom and my dad and my grandma were there to help me with them and stuff and then um we moved to Jake and I when he was five we moved to Australia yeah which is such it was a cool so life. fun and for six months we were there yeah. and um he went to kindergarten the first part and have some great beautiful friends from there and uh someday I'm gonna take you all there <laughs> it's it's the she didn't tell me that my it's whole life. the running joke but we're it's going gonna to. happen it one is. day. It is. But I love that you had that experience, and like even after a tragic love story ending, not how you wanted your first marriage and stuff, like you still were able to give your kid a really cool opportunity and yeah. a really cool life. So yeah. And then I you. met your dad. Yeah. And we actually went to high school together, Craig and I, and um, he connected. He we reconnected and. Um, it was it was awesome. We never dated in high school. Yeah, he, he just friends. Yeah. And but he was always the so nice. He's the nicest person he ever. He is the nicest. Dad. So then we so he had two boys and I had one and they were 6 and 8 and then we had Paxton and then we had Aspen. So you have five kids. I have five kids. That's and it's crazy. the best. I have one and I'm like I don't know how I can have more than that. Once you get over the, once you have two, three, I don't know. It all just works. Yeah. So when you met dad and he was a provider and worker and all this stuff, you could have been a stay-at-home mom at that point. I could have. And but it you would, like being a mom, a working mom. Yeah, I really do. Like, I have always been an entrepreneur, always trying yeah. to new, do new stuff. And, um, in fact, when dad when um craig and i met Mm -hmm. um i was working for a company and then i had just gotten back from australia and then he called me it was funny because he was working with one of my girlfriend's husbands and she called and said remember oli because in that was his high school that was his high school name and i'm like yeah so we went to les mis for our first date it was so cute and I just knew, like, when we start, when we went out, the first couple of times, we were like, we're going to get married. Yeah. It was so awesome. And then, and then he did say, do you want to stay home? And I'm like, oh, I really I like this. Yeah. I like what I'm doing. And um, anyway, so we ended up, he ended up, you know, saying, do whatever you want, you know? Yeah. And so I would work, and then I'd usually be home by the time everyone got home from school and stuff yeah and you would always like I rarely remember taking the bus like you would always make us breakfast take us to school bring us home hang out with us like I don't ever remember being home alone and if I was it was like 
I was older. Yeah. Like you always made it work where you could do you work and be home with us. Yeah. So Yeah, and props you, to you for doing You just want to make sure that um you're taking care like when you're with your kids that you're spending quality time with them. Yeah. I knew that when I got home from work, you're you know, home. I was home and I was playing with my kids and doing what I needed to. And then at work I could focus on work. And yeah. a lot of times you feel guilty, like, oh, yeah, I should I'm be home. Struggling no, with that. No, it, it's okay because she learned social skills mm -hmm. with going with other kids. Whatever you can make work, works. Right. And for you, being a working mom worked. Yeah, and it was good. And it was what you needed. Nice. So you have five kids, four boys, one girl. I'm the baby. Yeah, <laughs> one girl that is... Yeah, we love our girl. I, I was know. so happy. Because when I got pregnant, I was like, we were going into the uh, sonogram, and I'm like, if there's a penis, you're oh in so gosh. much trouble. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. Oh, I don't know. Okay, anyway. When if it's a boy, oh, you're going to be sad. <laughs> I was going to be, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be sad, but I was really, really helpful. Hoping. So I was so happy you got your girl i That's got my me. girl yeah and i love it i love being the youngest and i love being the only girl because i feel like i have a really special relationship with dad because of it and then i have a really special relationship with you because of it yeah and your brothers they all they all love aspen i love them they're the best they always took care of me i love it well that was a fun little glimpse into you as a mom yeah. And now I'm a grandma. Yeah. It's the you're best. You're the best grandma. Okay, everyone told me, wait until you have grandkids. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to love being a grandma. I love it. <laughs> but the hardest part is, is I have you four hours away, and then they're all over the country. Yeah, one's so, in Florida, one's in New York. Yeah, one so. One will be at your house, Kenzie. Yeah. They live there, but only three months because Paxton plays baseball. Yeah, so, but at least I'll get a little bit. And yeah. I do travel a lot, yeah, which I do. love. And, yeah. and that's really now why I work, because yeah. then that's my fun money. And so. Yeah. And do you think that because you were a working mom all your life, that when you, all your kids left, it wasn't such a hard transition going from like. Yeah being home to being an yeah. empty nester like being having us home yeah for sure because now i get it you know they're doing amazing things in all of these different areas that they yeah. live tell us about your kids because obviously okay. i'll talk about myself but okay so our oldest is bry mm -hmm. and he is a graphic designer and a creative he's Director, so yeah. creative and he works for this great company in Manhattan, oh, New yeah. York. He's amazing, and he um, he has Max. Max, which we love. Max. Max He's was so adopted, sweet. and it's so funny because all of my siblings have red hair. Yeah. And Max has red hair. I know, but he was adopted. It's so crazy. And he actually, when he was littler, he looked just like Paxton when yeah. he was a baby. He looked just like our brother. So he's just part of our family. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he's eight months older than Rainy. So yeah. he turned two in April, right? Yep. Yeah. So we love that. And then Michael, um, who is, he lives in Florida and he's mm -hmm. married to Gabby. And Mike is like the smartest out of yeah, all of okay. us. Yeah, okay. He um, taught himself how to do IT stuff. Yeah. Like, didn't go to school for it. No, but now he works remotely like for this huge company. Yeah, he's like the director over all of the IT stuff. Yeah. And they live in Florida. Wow. Whoa. I don't, I bet you could hear on this, but it's raining so hard. Anyways. Mike and Gabby. Then and Gabby they have Gabby is amazing. She makes jewelry. And it's so cute. It is so cute. Every time I wear it, I'm not wearing them now, but everyone's like, Oh my gosh, I love your earrings. I'm like, thanks, my sister made them. I know. We'll have to we'll have to do a little prop for her. And then <laughs> they have Romy who is so beautiful. She is the most beautiful little girl. Yeah. She has the cutest little skin and Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. And six she's months. six months old. We're going out soon to see them. 
Mm -hmm. And then um, Jake, who was from my first marriage, he actually lives in Maui. Yeah, Hawaii. And he loves it. Just hanging, doing the single whatever. Island but, life. Yeah, he's doing really he's good. He's awesome. And then Paxton, he, like she said, she he plays baseball for a major league team. And, the Blue Jays. Uh, yeah. But he's in their... Um, He's in AAA, so he's just one step away, and yeah. so it's really good. And they're going to have a baby in October, so a little girl. We're so excited. Wait. Yeah, so then you'll have three girls and, and one, one boy. boy. Grandbabies. It's probably really rewarding to see all your kids grow up, uh, and like we all are living our dreams. You are, and you're What is successful. that like? Because I can't even imagine, like, I have all these hopes and dreams for Rainy, but, like, in my mind, she's always going to be little. Yeah. But, like, what is that like, having your kids grow up and be successful? Like, now you're a grandma, and your kids are having kids. Yeah. Like, what it's does amazing. that feel like? It's amazing. I love it. I love watching my kids be parents. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun, and I love that they're successful, and... They're working hard because um, we really tried to make it, you know, even if you had to clean your bathroom <laughs> or clean, you know, we really tried to have you do some kind of work ethic, you know, yeah. have work I and know how to work. I think you really good. And to be f nice to people. Um, and I have nice, fun kids. Yeah. And it's always nice when I get a call, like from one of your bosses um, Jake's boss called me from Hawaii and just said, you raised such an amazing kid. Aww, that's and then so rewarding. Yeah. And then Bri, um, we're looking at, um, investing in some property and stuff. And the realtor called me and said, he is so amazing. He is. And I love all my siblings. Yeah. And Mike, and it's just amazing. And then you, I mean, if everybody knows you, they love you, you know? There's there's rarely anybody that says, ooh, Aspen. No, nobody. I have never heard that. So I'm sure somebody out there doesn't like me, but whatever. No, it's really good. So it, it makes me happy to because as a parent, you want your kids to be happy, you want to be successful, and you want to have a relationship with them. I love it. I think you're the best mom in the world, and I'm so lucky that you're my mom. So this will be fun to have you on the podcast. And I know, like I'm talk excited. talk about motherhood and your perspective, because you're a mom. You became a mom 25 years ago. Uh, try 35 years ago. Oh, my gosh. And I became a mom almost two years ago. So yeah. it'll be fun Woo. to have our different perspectives. Like I said, I became a mom almost two years ago, Rainy. Rainy Joy is the best little girl in the entire world. I don't think anything is more fun than watching her play. And then when she's asleep, I still just watch videos from that day <laughs> yeah. of like her playing. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's the best thing in the world. And I'm like pursuing my career. Like I'm in the midst of it. I'm a YouTube producer. It's my favorite thing in the world. I love doing what I do for work. And then I found out I was going to have a baby, and so it kind of like, whoa, wasn't planned, but it's been the greatest thing and so fulfilling, and I love being a working mom. I love that I get to have an outlet to go and create, and I love working hard for a company that's like super passionate, and so I love YouTube. I love the world of social media in general, mm -hmm. um, but I love that I get to come home and I get to be a mom, and that's why I want to start this podcast because it's like my love for social media and connecting people through video and words, but then also talking about the most important thing is motherhood to me. Like that's been the most important thing in my life. And so, yeah. And then Rainy will be two in December. I'm already planning her birthday party. And um, yeah, it'll be so fun. And then two months ago, I found out I was pregnant. And then at 10 weeks, I found out that I lost the baby um, just because of complications. Like, my body just stopped developing the baby is what the doctor said. And so that sucked and was so hard and still something I'm processing. But now I have a beautiful earthly baby and a beautiful heavenly baby. And it's the best thing to be a mom. And 
we'll talk about it later more in depth because I could just go on and on. But that kind of having that experience really motivated me even more to do this podcast because nothing helped me through it more than moms coming to me and telling me like I lost a baby too and like you're not alone and like yeah this sucks so bad that you don't get to be a mom like you thought you were gonna be but I got through it and this is how I got through it and like six of my friends in my book club all texted me and were like I had a miscarriage I had two miscarriages and like I had no idea so it's like even though this sucks and I never want to go through that again it was like so cool to see all the moms in my life come together and help me and they were so you have such a great community of friends and and um I don't think people talk about it you know and it's so it's more common than we think Mm -hmm. like when you told me the doctor said this is this happens a lot. Yeah, he was like one in seven pregnancies. Which is crazy. I know. I know. And so many people at church and in my neighborhood and my friends, like they all came and were like, I had a miscarriage. And it was like, I felt so seen and so validated and so loved. And then that just like fueled even more. Cause I've been wanting to do this podcast for like a year. Well, just this whole mom business for like a year, but I've just been like, oh, I'm too busy with work or I'm too busy with life or whatever. Yeah. And then finally, when this all happened, it was like, no, look how lucky you are to have. First of all, it was a miracle that you were here. I know. Because I was going to go home. Yeah. But then you're like, I'll just stay and help out. So that was amazing. So you were here. So I, I literally had my mom through all of this when I found out that I lost the baby but then I had all my mom friends and like it was just so helpful so so sweet I just think about people out there who don't have the community I had or they don't have a mom friend or they don't have anybody who gets what they're going through and so that just fueled me to make this and actually start it and So here we are. Here we go. We're going to do it. I know. I think it'll be good. And I think it'll be good to interview the friends that have had miscarriages and go through all of that because. Yeah. And infertility and, you know, like mental health and like all these things that you struggle with as a mom. But like you, you kind of have to put it on the back burner because you can't take a break. Like you you still have to be a mom. Right. Yeah. For sure. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. But I'm I'm excited. excited. Yeah. I'm excited and nervous and I hope people will listen and I just can't wait. I have all these ideas and all these things I can't wait to do. And I'm so glad I get to do it with my mom. I know. I'm excited. Thank you guys for listening. That is just kind of an intro to what we hope this will be and who we kind of are. And it's going to be crazy. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to have a good time. And hopefully we're going to grow together. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm excited because we definitely have different perspectives. Yeah. And different ways of raising our kids. But it's good. It's not negative or positive. I mean, it's just just what it is. And so I'm excited. Yeah. Well, thank you for listening. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And so you don't miss it. We're going to have an episode every single week, every Monday. I think is the day if it's a Friday then just forget that I said Monday but (laughs) (laughs) subscribe like and please leave a review because that's how podcasts grow and get the word out and spread it and we're just grateful for everybody so thanks so much I love you I love you